Are people bailing out of cities in Texas to move out to small towns? Is that a good idea? Is it a terrible idea? We'll get into it. Hey, folks, Todd Tremonti here with Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, offices in Richardson and Fort Worth. And we are getting a lot of calls and having a lot of conversations about people that maybe aren't quite ready but are strongly considering a move to a property with a larger lot, a move to a property with uh, beyond the lot size onto some land, and then definitely people considering homes with uh, different features. And some of this has to do with recent events. Some of it has to do with a real interest in uh, a slightly slower pace of life. Uh, so what's the word? What's, what is wise? And, and, and the, the deal here is I would say this really comes down to your preference. It comes down to your priorities for your family and your life. If you are looking for homes on land, that, that's one of our core specialties here at the Tatra Money Home Selling Team. We typically sell, uh, you know, 50, 60, 70 homes a year for two buyers or four sellers that are on one to 10 acres. And that's very popular in our area. But the question that we're hearing more lately than we really ever have before is can I do that not so much on the edge of the big city, but could I do that in town or on the edge of a smaller town outside of Dallas or outside of Fort Worth? So if you're making a move here from some other part of the country or some other part of the state, that may be a strong consideration for you to buy a home on a, an acre or two or 10 or even 15 or 20 near a much smaller town with a smaller pace of life or the, with a slower pace of life, uh, less craziness. Uh, maybe a little bit of a garden, some room to play, some room to have some animals, uh, and just a little bit more security, independence, privacy. And uh, as we see careers move more and more and more virtually, as people aren't having to commute quite as much, we see that trend changing a lot. Um, th this is something that we anticipate happening more and more in the future. Now, there's always cycles to these things. So at the same time that a lot of people are wanting to move out, there may be quite a few people that are wanting to move back in. That's okay. But if you're interested in moving out and you're looking for home, a home on land, um, or you're not as concerned with being tied to or tethered to a commute or, you know, a, a, a job location or grocery stores or things like that. And there's some incredibly attractive communities um, outside what I would kind of consider second ring, right? So there's some suburbs and some semi-rural suburban areas right on the edge that aren't big, boisterous suburbs that are still part of kind of the, the hub of the big city, whether that be Dallas or Fort Worth or Arlington or Frisco, uh, but they're on the edge. I'm talking about that next ring out that you would still call a small town. That's kind of rural on all sides. That's maybe got one main drag downtown. We're getting a lot of interest in that. So if you have interest in that, man, does Dallas Fort Worth have some really cool stuff to offer really on all sides. And I'm not necessarily going to name a bunch of names because there's so many and we'll get angry comments about the ones we've forgotten. But if you have one in mind, drop that in the comments. Let us know. Maybe we need to do a video specifically on that one for you. Or, of course, we could contact you directly and help you figure that out. If you're thinking about making a purchase or selling a home in those areas, we, of course, would love to earn your trust and help you do that and take really good care of you. Obviously, that's something we specialize in. But if you're still gathering information, there are some incredible school districts. There's some great, you know, for the most part, self-sustaining, self-sufficient small towns that have everything you would need. Um and some really cool things that you're not going to find in town. We were talking the other day about uh, a couple of small towns outside, probably second ring outside of Dallas-Fort Worth that have drive-in movies and some cool things like that. So uh, some golf courses that are, 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 are pretty fun and super accessible. And so there's all sorts of reasons to consider a small town lifestyle. The ones that we hear most popularly are a slightly slower pace of life. And then a big one is just affordability. You know, if you're if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area with a three or four hundred thousand dollar budget, which is becoming relatively normal kind of mid upper mid price point, obviously, for the most part, that's going to go a lot further in a small town out a couple rings outside of the Metroplex. And so right now we're seeing people that want a home office. We're seeing people that want home gyms. We're seeing people that want more yard room for a pool a room for kids to run around and play a room for adults to run around and play. And the, that same budget is getting them all those things they wanted, you know, 30, 45 minutes outside of town that they just simply couldn't achieve 
as close to the job or as close to downtown or as close to the city as they wanted to be. So if you're interested in a move like that within the Metroplex or to the Metroplex from outside the area, let us know. We'd love to help. Comment below. We'll take care of you there. We read every single comment. Uh, or we can connect with you offline. If you like this video, if it's helpful, if it stirred up some thought for you, give it a thumbs up. Share this with somebody you think it would be helpful for. By all means, subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other videos on our channel about some of those individual towns, cost of living, commutes, things like that. And then click that little bell. That'll let you know when we make more videos for you. We know you're not going to watch them all. You don't have to watch every single one. You can, but you can definitely check out the ones that you think will be helpful. So I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.